and for the woman. See, because I see this a lot of times and I want to address this. See, because women, sometimes they'll see a man of God and say, you know, I wish my husband was like you. Or, you know, they always say, well, pastor so-and-so says this and they throw it in that husband's face. Mm -hmm. You know, but pastor says this, but bishop says this, apostle says this, mm -hmm. you know, evangelist says this. Don't compare your husband with any man. Amen. You didn't marry that apostle. You didn't marry that bishop. You married the man that is standing right in front of you. Amen. And so what? He's not a minister of the gospel. Don't get, see, women too, don't get caught up on the stage and the, and the anointing that flows from the man of God that, that God uses to preach the word and then try to compare that man to your husband and then throw that man's name in his face and now that man feels secondary compared to that man it happens way more than people want to talk about and or realize because i've seen it for years so so remember you didn't marry that bishop you didn't marry that apostle you married that man that is faithful to you he provides for you he comes home every night he loves you. He, lo he loves your children. He's always there. He does what it is that he needs to do to make this family stay strong and together. So what? He's not a preacher. So what? He's not a minister. So what? He doesn't get revelation and, 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 and isn't using the prophetic. Because you can't do that to him. God did not give you that for a reason. What he gave you and what you prayed for was faithful, but you forgot. Mm. See, because you remember what it was like when you got beat up by the other men. You remember what it was like when you were cheated on by that uh, by those other men. You remember what it was like when they left you and they had all kinds of girlfriends behind your back and you wanted somebody that was going to be faithful to you. And now you have what it is that you prayed for and you long for and so desire to have. And now you want to compare him to other men in ministry and then throw in his face. Well, pastor so-and-so says, evangelist says, or bishops. My, or, or my boss says. My boss says, yes. My boss says. See, because the minute you throw another man in that in your husband's face, you got to remember, submit wives, submit yourself unto your husbands as unto the Lord. You're not throwing that man in your husband's face. You're throwing that man in the face of Jesus. Amen. Good word.